Ah, guys, in an interesting expose that happened, we saw Judge Lope exposing ANC and showing you that actually ANC have sold out, right? He was talking about something that happened recently. Now, I'm going to give you a brief summary before I let... I, I'm going to allow you to listen to the video. Don't worry. Uh, just don't worry. Relax. I'm going to allow you to listen to the actual video. But in this video, we are talking about the following. He's talking about this thing, Guti. So what, what happened is that at the ANC... Uh, uh, it's, uh, look, created this what we call it public debate about the land and people who are voting. People voted overwhelmingly for the land, look, for the expropriation without compensation. So, as people were voting, then now MK Party people asked the question, uh, actually, EFF member asked the question, what happened to that vote? What happened to the, the to look to that recommendation and the report of people who voted overwhelmingly that they need the land to be expropriated without compensation? Listen to the answer that's gonna shock you. But I'm gonna play you the video. But this is just exposing the true nature of ANC. Uti, a member of the ANC responded by saying. We cannot be told by people on what to do. We make the laws. So in other words, when they came to you saying, vote for us will bring change, they were literally saying, you know what? Appoint us to power so we can bring the change we want. If they have such an audacity to say, do not tell us about what people are saying. We make the laws, not those people. Now listen carefully. Do you remember the words of Helen Zille when he say when she said, "When the dust have settled, people will realize that the real fight is between ANC, it's between DA and the EFF, and he's not she's not counting ANC. That was before the formation of MK Party. Obviously, when MK Party was formed, then they said, "Ah, we thought EFF is a real problem. These ones are more problematic, pointing to MK Party." Do you realize that the enemy feels comfortable around the ANC? In fact, it has been demonstrated by them uh, feeling like they can work with the ANC, but they can't work with the D with the e EFF and the MK party. They have said it uh, look, publicly. Now that you understand the reasoning from e ANC, it therefore tells you why ETA feels comfortable working with the ANC? Because what the DA is looking for is exactly what the ANC is also doing. Well, what I am looking for is also exactly what you need to do here. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge. And that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? We'll bring you more. And also, guys, want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay 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 so speaking about the fact that um uh judge slope buffet will give credit to judge slope and go siam when zilum seven yeah when zilin double up got a guy i see collab of a i see corners corners lapping bell so judge slope again continued to say that listen here you've got a problem that you've got pre people here who are not intending to 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 help or who are not here because they want to advance the cause of black people, but they are here to advance the cause of the enemy. Now that he said that, do you think you can you can disagree with him when he says that? I, I don't think so. I don't think so. 
And I'm going to tell you why I say I don't think you cannot, dis- you, you, you cannot disagree with Uchash Lope. Now, this is what I have to do for you. I have to allow you to listen to Uchash Lope, but I'm going to ask you to listen attentively at what Judge Lope said because what is Judge, Judge Lope is saying here is very, very, very important. Take a look at what he said here. And there was a public participation exercise. People overwhelmingly voted in favor of expropriation of land without compensation. That was the outcome of that public participation exercise. We know that because it was raised about three weeks ago by one of the comrades from EFF, it was comrade Mkalipi, who asked what happened to that report which was filed in 2017, in terms of which the public voted overwhelmingly in favor of expropriation of property without compensation. The answer was shocking. This was the answer from one of the ANC parliamentarians. The answer was, we are the lawmakers who are not bound by what the public wants. That was the answer given to us during the orientation three weeks ago by an MP of the ANC. That to us made it abundantly clear that the issue of land is not on their agenda, right? So we know out there, remember we're representing 70% of the electorate, right? We may be just 102 seats in parliament, but our people who voted for us, we have 70% waiting outside and who are here to execute their mandate, and who are convinced who are going to grow as a force. Okay, so, now you have had Ucha Shlob. You have had Huelen Zile saying, when the dust have circled, people will realize, obviously, today she would have said it differently, that when the dust have circled, people will realize that the real war is between EFF, MK Party versus ETA. The fact that she spoke she speak confidently in the exclusion of e- ANC and she doesn't point out at ANC as a liberation movement, it's a worrying fact. The fa- Remember when we pointed out that the fact that e- ANC feels comfortable working with the enemy it's a worrying thing. Let me tell you, give you a history. You probably don't know this, but let me teach you this. There was a time where, back in the days, to, to a, 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 look, a, a king that was to be and the king that was in power at the time. The one who was in power, he knew that, he knew that he's going to be replaced by this one. So there, wa- there was a fight between the two people. The incoming king versus the ongoing king. And mind you, I'm using the word king, not president, intentionally. So the, the outgoing president, I mean king, not president, wanted to kill the incoming king. So there was a fight between the two. To such an extent that the incoming king ran. At some point, at first he ran into look wilderness and trees and mountains and But one of the greatest mistakes that is ever recorded in the history book is that at some point he ran into the enemy. And when he went there, they say that was the worst mistake he has ever committed. Why it was ever the worst mistake that has ever committed is because there was a time where the enemy fought against his people, knowing that they are innocent people that are, now he must participate in fighting with the enemy so they can destroy his people, the people that is supposed to be ruling over. Do you see what a conundrum he found himself in? Because you are in incoming king. Back in the days, they will destroy and leave that land in an, look, in a, 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 in a condition that is uninhabitable, right? So can you imagine you incoming king participating in what, look, in destroying the land that you're supposed to be ruling over, did killing the people that you're supposed to be ruling over, and technically you're not, 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 you're not going to be a king, right? Now he found himself in that position. And that man goes by the name of David when he was fighting with Saul. 
what I'm trying to say is you should not find comfort in the presence of your enemy. That's the last thing. What you saw or what you see being done, it's either you are part and parcel of the enemy or you are making a worse mistake ever. But just like a man called Mark Woodman, he once said, the late Mark Woodman, he once said, when you sleep, when you are sleeping, you don't know you are sleeping. You only realize you are sleeping when you wake up. Right now, they can be, they can boast about themselves. They can say whatever they want to say. But the bottom line is that right now, you have made a serious mistake. It's an on call. You shouldn't have worked with enemies. You can't work with DA. But it says two things. It's either you are part and parcel of what DA is or you are making a mistake. You are a sellout. Tell me in the comment section below. I'm interested to hear your conversation. Let the conversation begin right now.